as uh, <clears throat> as we record this, <laughs> the Conservative <laughs> Unionist Party <laughs> is dead. <laughs> Yeah, the Conservatives lost their Twitter account momentarily. Unfortunately, it is back now. Um, but I just love the image of Conservatives. <laughs> Something went wrong. <laughs> Try again. I mean, it could not be more apt, could it? Did that actually happen? Yeah, yeah. This I was didn't today. see this that. Of course, I didn't see that. I'm not on Twitter. <laughs> You're not allowed. <laughs> uh, but on the, on the topic of the Conservatives, they expelled me. And I wanted to share why, because I wanted to be absolutely transparent. Here is the email I got from them or the attached letter that they sent me. The complaint. So someone complained about me being a member of the Conservative Party. Bear in mind, I never advertised that I was a member. I've been a member for years. Never advertised it, because I'm a, as much a critic of them than anyone. But the reason I remained a member is because I wanted to be able to vote in the leadership contest and put, make sure someone's sound got in. That was the, the, the story I told myself anyway. But this is I'm no, no longer the case, because they don't want people. They don't want Conservatives in the Conservative Party. So someone, someone knew I was a member, probably a wet like Albie M. Cohen or someone like that, uh, and complained about me being a member. <laughs> and these are the seven reasons that they complained. Um, I posted and shared various social media posts between December and March. Okay, right, great. What, I'm not allowed to post media posts? Oh, no. here we go. <laughs> a series of seven posts showed me, respondent, me, uh, associating with and openly supporting Tommy Robinson, the founder of the far-right group, the English Defence League. Right, first and foremost... My tweets weren't necessarily openly supportive uh, of Tommy. They were an interview. The, the, they show me that there were screenshots of these tweets. They were in an interview that I did in this very room, like I'm sat with Callum right here. Wait, uh, free speech journalism in, in a Western democracy? Well, I was like, okay, people think he's, million. think he's far right. Let's, let's ask him. Let's ask him the questions. I didn't, didn't find him far right. I found him to be a very nice guy, guy actually. Um, but he's, no, he's not a member of the English Defence League anymore. So even the guilt by association doesn't even work because that's not true. The actions and ideology of this group are in direct contrast with the aims and values of the Conservative Party. That's the clincher right there. Because the aims of the English Defence League are to defend England. They are not the same aims and values of the Conservative Party. They Which isn't too conserving. Indeed. <laughs> absolutely not. Um, uh, continued association with Tommy Robinson is highly likely to bring the party into disrepute. So they say you cannot be friends with this guy because you'll bring the party into disrepute. Actually... You guys are the ones bringing the party into disrepute, which is why you just had your backside handed to you in an election. Uh, the respondent made a post on Twitter which refers to protecting British girls from Pakistani Muslim rapists. It is alleged that these comments refer to the trope of Muslims, particularly from Pakistani backgrounds, as being rapists. I'm going to stop you right there, Conservatives. Are you denying that the Pakistani Muslim rape gangs are a thing and saying that they're just a trope? Because I can show you it's still going on. And I've spoken to victims and survivors, and it's something that you have covered up in your 14 years of government. You have allowed this to go on, and it's still happening today. Shame on you. Absolutely shame on you. Repent of that and take that back. That is disgusting. Tommy Robinson was one of the first people to point it out. I have also pointed it out. GB News, credit to them, had a documentary that was great pointing it out. It's a, it's a crime against the British girls, the vulnerable Br British girls that you have not stood up for, and when it's been reported, it's been swept onto the rug. So to call it a trope is absolutely disgusting. The respondent made a post on Twitter which stated, Tower Bridge has been taken over by Mohammedans, another display of dominance by the conquering mob, and yet more tiered, two-tiered policing of the, from the Met. A Mohammedan mayor of London and a liberal commissioner of the police of the Metropolis, uh, Metropolis London is lost. Yeah, all of that was true. If you saw the video in the tweet, the London Bridge had been taken, Tower Bridge had been taken over by Mohammedans. It was a display of dominance by a conquering mob and two-tiered policing from the Met, who would handle that very differently to people who are campaigning against, say, for example, lockdowns or vaccine mandates or anything that's not uh, in the approved narrative. And, the, and the, we do have a Mohammedan mayor of London. We do have a liberal commissioner of the police of Metropolis. And London is lost. What's the problem? Some of those are facts. Some of those are my opinions. Am I not allowed to have a, an opinion? It is alleged that in this post, the respondent is inciting division and racial hatred. No, having Mohammedans take over Tower Bridge is what's divisive. Uh, predominantly Muslim de demonstrators as a conquering mob. I mean, the evidence speaks for itself. And also use the, use the derogatory term, Mohammedan. They are followers of Muhammad. They are Mohammedans. Just as I'm a follower of Christ, I'm a Christian. And I will not use their term, Muslim, because it is inappropriate. They're not true believers of God as this as or surrenderers to the true God, as that term um, dictates. So sorry, no, you are wrong again. It is alleged that the latter two posts are likely to be viewed as anti-Muslim in nature. Yes, I am a Christian cleric. I am 
against other faiths because I believe them to be false and my faith to be true. That is the, by default the position of a Christian cleric or a cleric of any faith. I, my job is to say that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life, and everything else is a lie. So yes, that is right. Uh, it is alleged that the respondent's engagement with individuals associated with the far right constitutes behavior that is a breach of the party's code of conduct. So you are not in favor of the Mohammedan faith, and you associate with Tommy Robinson, who we deem to be far right. Just, just despicable. What do you think, Callum? When are you joining the Labour Party? <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you're part of the Labour Party. It is. It's, what, where's the difference? <laughs> it. They just... Sophie Corican wrote that, didn't she? <laughs> so, she was the one that expelled you. These... Oh, do they... Do you think they actually... When they write things like that... Yeah. Do you think as they're writing, they're going, hmm, yes, this is, this oh, yeah, is what we need? Yeah. Or do you think like the... They don't think, oh, can we have Christians in our party? Does it make us seem anti-Christian or anti-priest if we say that, yeah, all have to be in favor of the Mohammedan faith? And no, they just think, how can we be supportive of diversity, inclusion, and equity? How can we support the, the conquering mob? They, they don't learn. Do, they? do you know what, right? Honestly, yeah. if, I, if I was in a seat and, and I knew the right, your vote is what wins this, Calum. This your vote wins this, and it was actually the vote for Labour or Conservative. Conservative this election, I would have picked Labour purely, purely to spite them. Yeah. And whilst that may be cutting off my nose, no, I agree. My face, I agree entirely. I would cut off more than my nose. But it's a very English thing to do because they, 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 they deserve it. Yeah, they deserve, they deserve to lose. annihilation. Yeah. And I, well, I was about to say before I lose, I can't lose my account, can I? They just. But, <laughs> They're left wing, and they do not support. They are. The that's they are this, left wing. They don't country. conserve a single thing. No. So that was that anyway. I got expelled from the Conservative Party after all these years. Do you, do you know how many doors I've knocked on for that party? Do you know how many hours I've invested in? That too party? many. Way too many. And it, do I regret it? No, because I was working for people I believed in. Uh, but the party absolutely needs to be destroyed, and we need a right wing Conservative Party. And hopefully that will be reformed. That we'll have to wait and see. Did you see when um, they rolled out Boris at Stoke? Yeah, and, yeah. And, and 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 he's doing that. You know, we 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 got Brexit done, and we and everyone's going, hey, and we and you know we we improved our economy, hey, and they went, and we we voted to to take back control of our borders, and I went, eh, eh? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> One, it's not 2019 anymore. <laughs> Two, you didn't take control of our borders, and you had every opportunity to do so. Oh, they did take control, and they went, come on in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They still don't get it, though. They, so, they don't. The question is, looking at these results, with reform getting over 4 million votes and Lib Dems getting 3.4 million votes, so significantly fewer, yet getting 71 seats to the four seats of reform, do we need PR? Yes and no. Proportional representation. If we were in the um, Republic of Callum, which would be a good republic, actually. There'd be no potholes. I don't believe in republics, but go on. <laughs> um, I, I like that you vote in your local MP. Yes. So what I would do, I'd keep the Commons as it is. Yes. Um, but I would scrap the House of Lords and I'd have a PR second chamber. Oh, I don't like that. So that way awesome. everyone's vote does count. But then when it comes to national issues, you do have literally the voice of the nation. Yeah. I would prefer to go back to independence again. Have all the in, all your local representatives are independent. They can form alliances in the House of Commons mm -hmm. if, or if you like. Uh, the House of Lords should have remained hereditary. It's too late to go back, but I don't like the idea of getting it rid of it or making it PR because uh, it, it would become far too political. But, but do you not think the Lords are political anyway? They are, but it's about making them less political rather than more political. I don't know how. I don't know how to reform them because they're in a, a mess thanks to Tony Blair. But. I would like for more local reps to be local reps because it's becoming too presidential. We vote pretty much for the party and or the leader when we shouldn't. We should vote for the local rep, the person who's going to represent our constituency. Mm. Uh, so was, That's uh, what I've always liked about the idea of a republic until obviously the last election. Because in theory, you've got more checks and balances. Yeah. So there was, there was one of the reasons as to why uh, the last election in America was technically was stolen was because um, so when they changed, when governors changed electoral laws regarding postal ballots, mm. that alone broke the law. Because of the way the constitutional public works, you vote in state legislators. Right, right. So they make those, so they went over them. So it's one of the reasons why it was actually was stolen. But 
on paper, I like a constitutional republic because you have multiple checks and balances. Yeah. So you can't really have a major swing of something radical. I prefer an absolute but, monarchy, but that's just me. Oh, I, I, I just, I just, I'd I just want to be left king, alone. Bad politician. To be honest, I want to be left alone. I don't want to be taxed. Yeah. I don't Small want to, state. I don't want to pay 1.5 million pounds to Ukrainian abortions. I don't want to. That's what I don't get about the Americans. Like they left us. We had a massive war over two percent tax, and now they're like fifty percent tax. Yeah. Like where where are the strong men now? And as for us, we just rolled over. We always have. I I always I I now. Um, identify as an American come every election because I too would like to overthrow the British government. <laughs> <laughs> Sound. <laughs> Thank you for watching my Common Sense Crusade. If you'd like to watch the whole show, you can subscribe to lotuseaters.com for as little as £5 per month, and then you get access to a bank of content as well. My show is 3pm every Thursday. See you there. Day as fault. Mm.